In this video, I'm going to show you how to get this Google BigQuery query of a million rows in to Power BI. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to set up a sandbox in BigQuery. This doesn't cost anything and you don't need a card. So I'll leave this link down below and just set up your BigQuery and you can get going. BigQuery has loads of data sets and this is particularly useful for people getting started. There's billions of rows of data in here with all different data sets. So I suggest you use it to build some portfolio projects. The tables we're using today are bike share stations, which is a small file. We're going to import this into an import connection and then bike share trips, which is an extremely large data set of 2 million rows. And we're going to use a direct query connection for this. So just what we're going to run with the direct query connection is about a million rows of data. And this is for bike share trips after 2018. So in Power BI, we're going to get data and we're going down to more. We're going to search for Google BigQuery and you'll see the BigQuery connection there. Now this will start an authentication like a Gmail authentication, but it's already authenticated on my machine. Once it's authenticated, you have an option for advanced options. I'm taking the whole table in, so I'm not doing anything there. I'm going to public data. I'm picking Austin bike share and I'm picking bike share stations. So this will bring the whole table in to my Power BI. I'm doing an import connection here, but that means it's going to import the entire data in and save that on my uh, PIVX file if I'm exporting out. So what I'm doing here is I'm going to just take the station ID, the name and the address in Power Query, and I'm going to get rid of everything else. Just do this by remove columns. And then I'm going to change the station ID into a text because it is an ID row that I want to join later on. So by clicking close and apply, this is ready to come in to my Power BI. And this is come in now in the form of a data set. So I'm just going to take that data set out into a table just to show you what's come through here. So three columns on this, I've got my address, name and ID. Happy with that, that's all there. So let's get going with the second query. So again, we're going to pick Google BigQuery here, but a little bit different this time. We're going to go to advanced options. I'm picking the project and I'm going to select this SQL because I only want what's in the SQL coming into my connection. So I'm going to click OK there. And this is a preview of the data. I'm just making a slight change to this. Again, just changing the ID into a text from a numeric field. And I'm going to close and apply that to come into my Power BI dashboard. Now with that there, I will need to make a connection between the station ID. So I'm going over to relationships. I'm going to take the station ID from Bike Star Stations and I am going to connect that to my start station ID. I'm going to select the both of them, one to many relationship is fine and press OK. And now with these data sets connected, I can then build a visualization with elements from both data sets. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to take the name from the stations and I'm going to take the duration in minutes from the trips and then this will create a bar chart. So that's all there is to it. I just wanted to show you today the difference between an import and a direct query. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please subscribe to the channel and smash the like button for more BigQuery videos.